anxiousness of the future and imprisoning feeling arising out of my past can never help us attain liberation. We are too busy with the other time zones. Actual liberation comes when you are absolutely free from any sort of conditioning. People have understood liberation as that no more life and death. But what is wrong? If I may ask you, what is wrong with your life that you don't want to come back? If I have everything I need in my life, food, clothing, good family, and if I can serve those who are in need, I am doing a noble task. So, liberation to me is arriving at a freedom. If I like to come back, I should be able to come back. If I don't want to come back, that is also a kind of a freedom that you have. Absolute freedom. That does not mean no life, no death. No, that is wrong, that you will not be born again. That's a very limited view of it. See. Salvation is a much lower state where you attain some level of mukti. It's like you are in a jail and they release you on parole for some time and you're back to jail again. See. That parole period is salvation. It's temporary freedom. You are given a break for some time. And depending up on what you do during this break, if, if you end up doing some good things during that break time, that salvation can also become liberation in the future. But that cannot happen unless and, unless and until I do something in the now. See? I cannot remain bogged down with my past and so I made this mistake. Of course, everybody makes mistakes. But I, I cannot uh, keep on worrying about that. Oh, I did this, I did this. I cannot be imprisoned in my past and I cannot become a fanatic or I cannot become so anxious about my future. See, the ang anxiousness of the future and imprisoning feeling arising out of my past can never help us attain liberation. We are too busy with the other time zones. Actual liberation comes when you are absolutely free from any sort of conditioning. It's like you are walking into a coal mine with a beautiful white shirt. Even though you may not harvest any coal, yet the nature of the coal mine is that you will have some specks of coal dust on your shirt. It will get spoiled. Just being there. Consciously or unconsciously, you are quietly sitting in your office, doing nothing whatsoever. Somebody cries and you hear it. Oh, some one of the employees crying. Or you are watching a TV and there is an ad, very provocative ad. What happens to you? You are not participating in that act, but that provocating ad captures your mind. See? Someone is crying in the background, it draws your attention. And when you try to meditate in the evening, what happens at that time then? All these things, if you are very conscious of all these things, it will, it will come like a movie reel, you know, unwinding in your mind. Right? But we don't have to worry about it. See, through this heartfulness way, we have many methods, many uh, ways of getting rid of all these impressions that we gather knowingly or unknowingly. And we call it as Antar Karan Suddhi. And this Antar Karan Suddhi, <clears throat> it happens through a Sankalpa, which... And this sankalpa is a yogic sankalpa. In order to make it active, we get a training from a preceptor. And preceptors are all over the globe. And even if you don't have someone in your own town, you can use an app, somebody nearby, and they'll walk you through this whole process 
of meditating and will also enable to do this antakaran sutti. 